Are you counting the steps? <laughs> when I carry him down the stairs, I count the steps and he's coming down making noises like he's counting. He's a clever little boy. We've been filling up the filling up the batteries. Battery fire. Mama battery fire. <laughs> battery fire is the uh, electrical batteries for the solar system. So right day two. Now then. You know when you think of something and you think, right, what I'm gonna I need to move this inlet from here to here. So I thought I'll put a bend in there and put another bend there, cut that off and that'll be there. And so I went and I bought four bends to move these two over. Then I thought to myself, you numpty. All I've got to do is to cut the top pipe and move it all over one section and away we go. We've got we've, we've got it. So I'm gonna put a piece in that should move them all this way. That's my theory anyway. Oh, my mate wants to play football. Football. Right. Now then, I've moved. This is an experiment. Lou has suggested that the inflow is as, as far distance away from the outflow. No, they're not in there. Come on, bring it out. And so there's 10 beds and these five end beds are going to run pretty much on Lou's system, what he's suggesting. And the top five beds are going to run on the original system. So all things being equal, we should be able to do a reasonable comparison. Now then, uh, so I've got to empty out of these three beds some more some more of the grow medium now now lester asked where did i get the growing medium from well these river stones i got my nephews to go and collect me a lot of bags of river stones from the river broken bricks from the brickworks which we smashed up and then these are aquaponic balls except they're not aquaponic balls i bought them from Chiang Mai contacted the guy told him I was setting up aquaponics and I needed the clay balls no problem I've got them so I get them and then lo and behold they're not the right ones these ones float so they go up and down with the water and when I went back I said to him they float oh he says well you got the wrong ones but you knew I was doing aquaponics I told you I was doing aquaponics I wanted them for aquaponics but Thailand Anyway, we've, we've made the best. I've, the, the bedroom mixture of, of stone, uh, brick bats and clay balls. You can, you can grow in any medium. You don't want to be growing in limestone, that's for sure. But there's, there's, a, a, there's a, the road stone you get here in Thailand. It looks like limestone, but it's not. It's more of a, Brian tells me it's more of a granite. So that's, that's quite all right you know so right so i've got to connect the pump up fire it up and see if i've got any leaks from the alterations i've made clean all this gangway up the songs made a right mess the uh, the cattle have have gone back to the farm now they're in good condition so they've gone back ready to be starved again over the dry season and come back next at the start of next wet in horrible condition i just give up with them you know it's like talking to the bloody wall so at the end of the day we'll uh, we'll crack on with this so we will see you a little later because these clay balls float the water doesn't come up high enough in these beds for them to float so i might put some of the clay balls in these and use them as the top medium so that's what i'm going to do it's sunday morning it's about eight o'clock I'm on my way down to the aquaponics to do a little bit more. And I, 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 I took Stephen down to Pattaya a fortnight ago to uh, sort his visa out. And uh, I came back with an infection I didn't want. No, 
I'm absolutely full of a horrible cold and uh, today is one of the better days so hopefully it's on its way out but it's been absolutely stinking Stephen's been really ill with it and uh, we, we can't we're trying to figure out how the hell we got it um, there's only two places two restaurants that we were in internal and um, I don't know anyway today I'm going to put some of this medium out of here into these two and um, and these five first five beds as I said we're running them as per Llewellyn advised and the other five beds will be traditional as I've always done them so we'll we'll, we'll run our <coughs> our clinical trials if you like the uh, it's a lot lower medium it's no no siphon it's a straight fill and run over so we will uh, we will see what will happen but first Give these fish a handful of food. Right, one of the air stones has come adrift, so we'll have to put that in and then fish out the feed pipe, connect it to that feed pipe, and rattle up the pump well that's the feed connected so we'll uh, switch him on there that there's a bit of water coming through and they're all up and full so I'm gonna start to regulate them Couldn't get this one out, but when that bell siphon raises, I'll be able to pull it out no problem. So, now then, there was one joint that I put in that was suspect, and I thought this will leak so far, so good. It rather reminds me, I used to work with this old electrician, I'm going back oh years ago and I was only about 18 if that and this electrician he'd finished her job and he said now then if I'm right this will blow and if it shorted out he would say I thought it would which is we can speak for I think it I, I, I thought it would and if it didn't he used to say, my God, I'm better than I thought I was. <laughs> Clearly, whichever way, he couldn't lose. Now, the one thing you will see when these start to fill up is the ants that have made their home in here will be coming out like a rat up a drain. Okay, so when you... With aquaponics, the fish provide the plants with all the nutrient that the plants need and want, except for one, and that is iron. So you can, and a lot of people buy what's called chelated iron, powdered iron, and, and add it in. But I use this. It's a, it's a rock, it's a heavy iron stone rock that Jeff introduced me to many 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 years ago and I put it under the water flow and the minerals wash out and provide the plants with as much iron as they need you see ideas in action as they say look at these ants coming out of here now oh my god we were having a good time down there and 
are coming up and they're carrying all the eggs from the nest. They're little warriors, aren't they? Oh, look at all these. Gazillions. Gazillions of ants. Look at them all. That was a big nest. And they're all heading for the hills. Each carrying an egg. Preserving the colony. My word. Head for the hills, guys. It's a cataclysmic event. And these are giving it large coming out of here. Now this one's about to overflow. Now then, the water in the tank will get ra rather mucky rather quickly. But once it's it's been through the beds four or five times, it will be pretty much crystal clear. Right. Cherry tomatoes from last year. This lot. Heading for the hills. Right, so the water has reached the top here and it's just overflowing there so which means I need to level this out a little bit more and uh, to create what I want this one has reached its has reached the holes and it's draining rather nicely and the water is about 50 mil down which means which means this one is flowing nicely and again the water is just below the surface so I'll add, I'll add into this one another bucket of, of um, these round marbles but the one that's two inches which is about right it means that when you put new plants in the plants have got to be in the water and if they're not you'll have to water from the top a little bit uh, until the roots go down Right, doing champion. Take that storm guard out. Take that bell siphon out. There's, there's one thing with this system of loose is that bell siphons, they do fail from time to time and when they fail, your, your bed overflows, you lose loads of water, you lose loads of medium and it can be catastrophic for depending on what kind of fish you've got in the tank but with this system, of course, it can't do that This is really, really working well, this one. Really working well. Now then, if you do run an aquaponics system, then these valves are critical. Because you do need to balance the in and the out. Otherwise, with all things nature, some will be greedy and take more than the first share. We'll have that one down a little bit. And uh, this one appears to be a, a trickle. Need to govern that down a bit. That's about right.
Right. I just need to get some plants prepped up now. I'll leave this cycling for a few hours and uh, let it go through the paces. So, from a hot, sweaty, not well, full of a cold guy. I'll see you later. Bye bye for now.